Welcome to today's class. So today's class will be an introduction to Logisim. Logisim uh, is a tool that allows us to design logic circuits and perform simulations. And this is the tool that we will use for our lab class. Um, you can download Logisim from this uh, website. Um, I hope it is visible. Uh, the website is, let me show it by pasting it here. Uh, so you can go to this website and you can download Logisim. Um, here's the download link and as you can see you need um, a Java 5 or later uh, it needs to be installed uh, for you to be able to run uh, Logisim. Now I already have it installed in my machine so I'll just show how to use it. Um, I'll start from beginning. Uh, so where is my file? Here it is. So I'll right click and open with a JDK. And that brings the simulator for me. And now uh, here you will see some logic gates, uh, built in logic gates. So I will, for example, let me use the AND gate. So I click on the AND gate. And now if I click in this canvas, I can put the AND gate here. If I need to one more AND gate, I click AND gate again and then click in the canvas. I get the second AND gate. Uh, for this class, I will just use one AND gate. So I will right click and delete the second AND gate. Uh, and since it may not be visible for you, let me uh, magnify it, zoom it. So I guess it's better visible now. Uh, so here you see three pins available. Uh, these are for the input pins to the AND gate. I don't need five pins for this example. So what I will do, I will reduce it to two. And how will I reduce it to two is I will first click on the AND gate in the canvas that brings the properties of this AND gate and here you see the number of inputs is 5 and since it is 5 you see 5 pins here so I will reduce it to 2 and once I reduce the number of inputs to 2 I have only 2 pins here uh, so two inputs and one output pin and now to check the behavior of this AND gate I need some inputs to be connected to this AND gate so I will click on this input tool so this square box this is my input tool so I'll click it here and then I click on the canvas. So I get my first input. I need one more input for the second pin. So again I click on this input tool and then I click on the canvas and I get my second input. Now if I pull this if I click on this uh, point and if I drag, I can pull out a wire. So I, so I connect my input to the AND gate. Similarly, I will click on this dot and then I will just pull it out by 
clicking still clicking it and i bring it to the input of the end gate so i have connected two inputs to my end gate uh, i need to check the output for that i will go and click on the output tool and then i click on the canvas and i get my output pin similarly i need to connect this output pin to the output of the end gate so again i'll click and then drag and i get the wire which i connect to the output of the end gate and this is a simple logic circuit which which have just one end gate and now let me create the truth table uh, for this end gate so what i will do is uh, first let me name these inputs so how will i name these inputs is i need to write some text uh, for that i click on this icon this is edit text and once i click there i can write something in this canvas so let me say the first input is x then the second input is y and let me click it one more time and the output is z so again i click on this arrow and now you can drag these names uh, so this is my input x this is my input y and this is my input output z now let me write those in some file so i have the input x then i have the input y and then i have the output z so let me just draw a line and now as you can see from lozy sim when my input is 0 0 when x is equal to 0 and y is 0 the output z is also equal to 0 so let me write it down so when x is 0 and y is 0 my output z is also 0 now i go to logic sim again and this time i want to change the value of y and how will I change the value of y is uh, you click on this icon like the finger icon uh, it allows you to change the values so I click on this finger and then I go to the input which I want to change so I want to change the value of y so I click on this pin as soon as I as soon as I click on this pin y will change to 1 so now x is 0 y is 1 and the output z is still 0 so again let me write note it down so when x is 0 y is 1 output z is 0 so x is 0 y is 1 and output z is still 0 no changes i go back to my canvas uh, to my logism i change y back to 0 and this time i will try to change x to 1 so i'll click on x so x changes to 1 however there is no change on the output and what I see is when x is 1 y is 0 the output z is 0 so when x is 1 y is 0 z is still 0 and, and finally I will now change y to 1 so I click on y again and this time as I click on y uh, y changes to 1 this time x is 1 y is 1 and z is also 1 now 
so what we see is when I and x is 1, y is 1, z is also 1. So now this table is called the truth table. And this is a truth table for the AND gate. So, what does the truth table do is it shows you um, the inputs, the inputs are X and Y and the output is, uh, so the truth table shows you the input, X and Y are the inputs to the gate and it also shows you the output, Z is the output of the logic circuit in this case the logic circuit is just my end gate uh, so the truth table shows you the input and the output and then for each combination of the inputs it shows you the output since we have only two inputs I can have only four different combinations for the inputs which is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so these are the only possible uh, combination of values for X and Y uh, I cannot have any other possible input values so two inputs I can have four possible uh, combinations and for each combination it shows you what will be the output so this kind of table is called a truth table um, to show it in a better format uh, this is the better way to write down the truth table clearly shows which are the input and which is the output if you look at the previous table here you cannot tell which is the which is the input and which which are the output um, but if you write the truth table in this um, format it clearly shows you that a and b are the inputs and f is the output uh, for this end gate we, the name of the inputs are a and b and the output is f so and this is all about uh, it's the basics of logism mm, what else uh, maybe this is all that we will discuss in today's class uh, in as we make progress on the theory class we will be able to make more complicated logic circuits uh, we'll see how to proceed uh, maybe I'll try to cover some of the theory first but now I'll give you an assignment uh, the first thing you need to do is you have to download Logism and and next I want you to um, calculate the truth table for some of these gates like OR gate, NOT gate, NAND gate, NOR gate, XOR gate and XNOR gate. Uh, NOT gate is a single input. It has only a single input. Like here in this example I have two inputs for the AND gate. Uh, in case of NOT gate you will have only one input. Uh, the other gates are um, two inputs or more um, so now I want you to draw the truth table for some of these gates as assignment uh, I'll send you the assignment through Google Classroom and uh, I'll specify exactly which gates you, have, you need to use 
to calculate the truth table uh, i would like to mention one thing here is that you can save this uh, logic circuit as you give some name and get this will be the name of the file and let me save it in uh, my logisim directory uh, let me save so if I go to that folder now I'll have this file saved um, so as part of the assignment you may need to send me this file that you have created and I would also want you to send me the truth table for each kit so that's what you need you'll need to submit uh, and with that I'd like to stop for today uh,